day. What can I do for you? What can you tell me about the ruins on the plateau? You aren't the first to ask me about them, but the answer is still the same. I've nothing to tell you. Not that I wouldn't want to, but I've never been there. There must have been a path once upon a time, but it's no longer there. Maybe it collapsed. Some say that you have to pass through the mines to get there. A few of the tunnels do climb. It's certainly possible, I would say. But those tunnels are all closed, and we have better things to do. The iron ore. It doesn't come out of the ground by itself. Do you need anything else? Talk to me about the mines. It wasn't us that first dug them out. They're really old. Centuries old. But those tunnels are full of riches. It takes little effort to unearth the minerals that we want. What more could we ask for? And seeing as how there aren't that many of us, if we were pressed to mine all the tunnels, we'd be too few. But the time will come when folks hear about what we're pulling from these rocks. We won't be alone for much longer. Did you build this village? Not by myself, no. We did it. We have to sleep somewhere, you know. We don't have much here, and we'd sure like the place to prosper and grow. Maybe more miners will come. Then we'd start to attract all manner of merchants and craftsmen. Do you need anything else? I'm headed out. Goodbye. Goodbye. Hello. You lost? No. Why do you ask? It's just that we rarely get visitors. Well then, what can I do for you? If I got this right, this hamlet is home to only miners? Yes. It's not been all that long that we've taken up residence here. For the time being, we've only been working a part of the mine because the veins run so deep in the tunnels. Hopefully, more miners will come, and that will attract other craftsmen to our village. We'll see. Anything else? What can you tell me about the ruins that we can see up there? Uh, not a great deal. To my knowledge, no one's ever been able to reach them. There were some officials from the city that came, but when they saw they couldn't easily climb up to the plateau, they just left. There must have been a path that caved in. Unless some sort of tunnel in the mine takes you there. Anything else? What can you tell me about the mine? It's ancient work. The natives must have dug it out a long time ago and then abandoned it. Even if it is strange work for islanders, it looks more like something we would do on a continent. We're trying to restore it. The rock is extremely rich in iron ore. But the tunnels are very old. You need to go slowly. None of us are in a humor to be buried alive. We did explore a few of them, and we're exploiting the closest. But others, nah, they're still inaccessible. Anything else? I'll leave you to it, then. Until we meet again. Finally. Here we are. These are the ruins that Lady Lorene spoke to us about. I'll drown myself with the morning tide if these buildings are of native construction. Explore the area. Something may give away the identity of the architects. This journal confirms what we suspected. A continental nation had once attempted to colonize the island with the help of the Nords, and they were repulsed. From what I was able to decipher, few of them actually managed to escape. I should have known as soon as we discovered those ruins that we were not foreign to these lands. Hmm. The major part of the journal has faded, and I'm not able to decipher the name of the author. Let's continue our search. We must discover which nation was here. This seal. I know the insignia. Even if it has become more detailed in recent decades. It's hard to believe my eyes. What nation does it belong to? This is the ancient coat of arms of Serene. It's a congregation seal. I think the information is pointing to something clear. No possible doubt remains. All the clues point in the same direction. The people from the sea who built these ruins and confronted the natives they were us. <sighs> and to think we helped you. I'm having trouble dealing with this, even if it does explain a lot. We're gonna have to keep this story under lock and key. The natives are not gonna swallow it easily without a long chew. Oh, this must be the reason they kept us in the dark. But Constantine is gonna be furious when he learns this. Cousin! You have returned! How did things go? 
Oh, you don't look well. What's happened here? Nothing. Nothing terribly bad in any case. I must have eaten something that's having trouble going through me. Seems to me that this illness has been lingering too long. Who prepares your meals? Are they safe? No one is poisoning me, dear cousin. We are far from court and their customs. It's nothing. Take my word for it. Now then, what do you have to tell me? We had a talk with Lady Morange and we explored the ruins that she suggested we visit. All our findings point to one conclusion. Those ruins were originally built by the Congregation of Merchants. The Congregation? Us? But Father never once even hinted. Once again, he must have deemed me unworthy to know the secret. How he must despise me. A Constantine. We need to learn more. I want to understand. I need to know everything my father has kept from me. This question also concerns you. You look too much like a native for that to be a coincidence. Since we cannot bombard my father with questions, others here must give us the answers we require. The congregation, even in the past, could not have made it to this island without help. We are pitiful sailors. You are thinking of us. But I assure you that I know nothing of this story. You are perhaps simply not aware, but your admiral stationed at the captainry surely is. Go and find her, cousin. Try to learn the final chapter of this story. Very well. Desarde, what can I do for you? I've explored many ruins on this island, ruins that after careful scrutiny were built by the congregation. In one of them, we found a journal that made reference to your guild. This document, as are the buildings, date much further back than the arrival of the Bridge Alliance a decade ago. These discoveries raise a good many questions, questions that my cousin would like you to answer. I understand. All the same, we are in a difficult situation. We are bound by the pact. I could eventually overlook these engagements if you would perform a service. Commander Fernando, who holds the port of San Mateus, has problems with certain members of Teleme. The bishop that accompanies you on occasion could without a doubt tell you more. I won't hesitate to speak to him about it. Solve these problems, and I will reconsider the validity of the pact. I will answer your questions. My dear child, what can I do for you? I had a meeting with Admiral Cabral concerning what we found in those ruins. She said she was bound by a pact that kept her from answering questions on the subject. The Nords are nothing more than mercenaries of the oceans. I suppose that she wants something in exchange. Effectively. She told me that her men posted at San Mateus met with some problems, and she advised me to speak to you. Does that make sense? I believe I see what the Admiral is speaking about. Or rather, who? A few of our zealous brothers are overcome by their faith. You already witnessed it for yourself at San Mateus. They look with a wary eye at all those who do not swear faith to Teleme, and refuse to express their faith openly. It is possible they have decided to target the Norts. We will need to speak with those on Teleme lands, and of course, seek out the Bishop Domitius. Hello, sir. You are from the congregation, are you not? Indeed. De Sarde, your admiral has sent me here. Pleasure. You may call me Fernando. I am the port commander here. What might I do for you? Your admiral informed me that you've been having problems with a few citizens of Teleme. What more can you tell me? Problems, huh? We're up to our necks and sinking with problems. Yeah, I even received threats to my own person. One of those high and mighty long robes dared walk upon my docks with talk of burning me at the stake. Burning me? Then two of my men up and disappeared, and I do not believe in coincidence. I wanted to ask for help from the Mother Cardinal, but she did not answer my requests for an audience. The games of politics are not my forte, and investigations even less so. Find my men. I implore you. More questions? Thanks. I've got everything I need. Fernando and the Admiral are close. When she was captain, he was her chief mate. She trusts him completely. That's why she put him in charge of the management of the port of San Mateus. We should talk to some other sailors at the port. If some of their comrades have also disappeared, they may be able to give us some information. 
Good day. I'm looking for several sailors, some noughts that disappeared a few days ago. Sorry, that doesn't ring any bells. But I did hear talk like everyone else on the port, but that's all. You should ask the mage inquisitors who have taken up lodgings here of late. They must have certainly seen something. We see them everywhere, and they spend their time spying on all that moves, especially eyeing all that the knots are up to. Ah, and what do these mage inquisitors look like? They wear a very peculiar symbol. We cannot question all the inquisitors roaming around the island. Good day. I'm looking for two men, noughts, that went missing a few days ago. Do you know anything about them? Why? As a matter of fact, I do. Three or four days ago, I was at the tavern having a conversation with a sailor, a nice fellow. He was telling these stories. He was drinking hard. He went outside for a moment to... you can imagine. And well, he never came back. He wasn't that drunk to have passed out. If it were that, we would have found him. No. Something happened to him. That's a fact. But I would be at a loss to tell you what. If one of the sailors disappeared as he came out of the tavern, that is where we should go. If we find Inquisitors there, they'll certainly know more than the ones we see here. You again. Why am I not surprised to see you implicated in this story of surveillance? I have no idea what you're talking about. A witness told me that you and others of your order seem to be spying on all comings and goings in the port. Two noughts were captured not long ago. You had to have seen something. You are mistaken, my son. You've been misinformed. You know I have Mother Cardinal's ear. Is she aware of your initiatives? I... I, I do not appreciate this attempt at intimidation. But very well. Since you insist, these noughts were arrested. We were forced to interrogate them to bring to light their pagan rituals. It wasn't a sanctioned arrest, was it? No. The Mother Cardinal is not aware. Not yet. But as soon as we have succeeded in making them talk and they have confessed their heresy, she... Of course. Where did you take them? The coin guard has... lent us their jails and some men. We do not normally like to call upon the services of these brutes, but we have need of their skills and discretion. These Inquisitors really don't realize the consequences of their actions. We will have to proceed with caution. What do you want from me, my son? Sir de Sarde, emissary of the congregation. Ah! The congregation still has the uncanny gift of surprising us. I am Bishop Domitius. I represent the Ordo Luminous on the island. What can I do for you? I believe you have a few problems with the noughts who reside in the port. We have problems with all matter of heretics, my son. And of course the pagan noughts would be among them. They are very secretive and have all sorts of strange rituals that they keep to themselves under cloak of mystery. The sorcery they employ to guide their ships is drawn from nature. Just like the sorcery used by the natives. And to top it all off, and this is where it stings, we suspect them to be at the origin of the Malachor. Whatever do you mean? How? Have you ever once crossed paths with a nought suffering from the blood plague? Why are they spared? The only logical reason is that they are at its origin, calling upon various cursed rituals. It's as simple as day. I am certain that we will find clues of their rituals and their pagan idols in their stockhouses in the port. What a nest of absurdities. What other reaction would you expect from those responsible for the curse that afflicts us? Uh... Very well. Let's just agree that these rumors need to be verified. Halt! You have no authority to go any further. And if I gave you this, so that you might go and have a little fun? In that case, I could certainly look the other way for a while, but be discreet. Thank you. 
Thank you for getting us out of there. Those Inquisitors are completely mad. They tortured us. They wanted us to admit to all manner of horrors. Stories of some demonic cult and curses of Malachor. I was of the firm belief that they were going to kill us. But you must make haste. They are planning some sort of wickedness. They spoke of a great purification. And after that, they did this to us. It doesn't bode well, not at all. I heard them talking about their headquarters near the palace. Maybe you'll learn something there of interest. Thank you again for freeing us. We'll be able to make it back to port on our own. We need to discover what is behind this talk of purification before they can execute their plan. And we should probably find out more about this secret first. If we do not discover anything reprehensible, we will have an easier time convincing the Mother Cardinal to intervene. Good day, Desade. How can I help you? I met the representative of the Ordo Luminous, and he spoke of his fears concerning the Noughts. That hardly surprises me. That man is full of pride and arrogance, and sees evil wherever he gazes. And that bishop is not made of milk and kindness, but his questions are intriguing. He suspects you to be somehow responsible for the Malachor because you never fall prey to it. Responsible for the Malachor? <laughs> and how? Through your magic. Some sort of ritual. Do you use a magic very similar to that of the natives? I have nothing more to say about it. Those are merely the fantasies of a lunatic. More questions? Thanks. I've got everything I need. The Commander will probably not tell us anything more about the Nort's secrets, but the documents at the Harbour Master's office may teach us something new, if we can stay discreet. This note speaks of a secret hangar. We should investigate, even though it's sure to be well guarded. That way we'll know exactly what the Nort's are hiding from us. I can assure you, we're not hiding anything reprehensible. But if you absolutely want to check it out for yourself... I've already seen this type of engine in my uncle's court. It's used to spy upon the stars. These objects are called sextants. Looking at the heavens through them, we can determine and track precisely the course of our ships. Mm, nothing magic nor impure therein. They're nothing but measuring instruments. These machines are extremely complex. I've never seen anything like this. Oh. This one looks like it has a shouting dolphin etched into its side. I wouldn't begin to know how this one works. It's a new model, invented recently. It's designed to measure the depths of the oceans. It's extremely useful. And that? It looks like a thermometer. And this other machine? Does it really predict the weather? The second instrument is a barometer, and it does indeed predict where the weather is going to be. Nothing magic in it either, I can tell you that. These instruments are incredible, and I would be hard-pressed to use them. But I certainly see nothing magic in here. Nor anything diabolical. For as long as they work and are really used, these instruments seem to be the product of science. And I've definitely found nothing related to the Malachor, nor a secret sect or cult. <sighs> this Domitius has let his imagination and the taste of naught secrets get the best of him. I don't think you realize the importance of what you have just seen. These instruments allow us to dominate the oceans and discover new worlds. Keeping this secret has enabled us to remain the only ones capable of navigating the high seas. Everyone just thinks you use a magic of your own. We were the ones that spread that rumor. It harms our reputation, but protects us from competition. And this story about the Malachor? I have no way to explain why we don't catch it, but we're not responsible for it. I truly hope you'll reveal nothing of what you've discovered in this place. We must meet with the Mother Cardinal urgently. Only she can put an end to this madness. Yes? I would like to have an audience with the Mother Cardinal to discuss the discoveries made during our investigation. What is this about, Domitius? Well, I don't rightly know. You see, Eminence, Bishop Domitius has brought to my ears his order's accusations concerning the Noughts. According to him, they practice a religion close to those of the natives and use a nature-drawn magic. They would also be implicated, therefore, 
in the appearance of the Malachor. That is an extremely serious accusation. Effectively, considering the accusation is founded on no proof other than the Nort's tradition of secrecy. But these suspicions have pushed the Order to extreme actions, risking the fragile peace of the island. The Ordo Luminous captured several Nort's, locked them in jails rented to them by the Coin Guard. They were tortured with the singular goal of forcing them to admit heresy. They obtained nothing. If I had not intervened, these men would be dead. Is this true, Domitius? Some of our brothers undoubtedly misinterpreted the evil. I would have never allowed such a plan. These noughts are now united with their captain, and I am certain they would be most eager to bear testimony. I caught wind of a ridiculous scheme planned for the port by the Ordo Luminous, and I wanted to clear it up. I was able to get my hand on documents that effectively detailed an attack. A great purification. They were signed by you, Father, and included a contract where you enlisted the assistance of the Coin Guard to attack every Nort building and make prisoner of every one of their men that could be taken alive. Domitius, how could you? Whatever did you want to accomplish? The Norts are not believers. We should not be dependent on heretics. Have you gone completely mad, Domitius? We are on an island. How could we not be dependent on the Norts? I want them arrested. Him and every member of his order. I will decide at a later time their fate. I thank you for bringing this business to my attention. Going after the Norts. What madness. Without you, this city would now be drowning in chaos. Carry my best wishes to your cousin. His desire to maintain the peace on the island honors his house's reputation. I will tell him, Your Eminence. Until we meet again. Desarde, what can I do for you? I've settled the problem in San Mateus. Several of your men were imprisoned by the Ordo Luminous. The misguided brothers planned to attack the port. I had them arrested. They should no longer be a threat to you. The Order thought you to be heretics because of your tradition of secrecy. The secrets. They often cut both ways. Therefore, I'm going to reveal to you another. We discovered this island nearly two centuries ago. A few decades later, we sold the discovery to your nation of merchants. Then, our closest allies. We transported some lords, men, and merchandise. They began to colonize the island. The lords revealed themselves to possess a tyrannical nature and began to exploit the lands with a deadly passion. Their actions provoked a revolt of the natives, but also the very workers and craftsmen they had brought with them. The magic of the natives of Tirfredi was awoken. Beasts came out of the woods and destroyed the new cities. Only a handful of lords and armed men were able to make it back to our ships. The losses were enormous. The humiliation, devastating. Your princes paid us well to keep their secret. They continued to make the occasional expedition. You are, in fact, a product of one of them. What are you saying? You must have had your doubts. You are the child of a native. You were born on one of our ships. The child of an islander? But I know who my mother is, and... I understand how difficult this is to hear. And I wouldn't know why your family has kept this from you all this time. In the end, we decided to sell the secret location of the island to other nations. The congregation, in spite of its fears, could not keep away. And here you are again. I am sorry for the shock I have caused you. You asked me for the truth, and now you have it. Anything else? I need to be going. Until we meet again, Admiral. I can't believe it. That for all this time, I've been fed lies. Did Constantine know? I must... I must go and see him. My child, I understand that this revelation is upsetting. I... I wish I had the right words to comfort you. In any case, 
You do not have to be ashamed of your ancestry. This island is at the very core of all our fates. Cousin, you couldn't pick a better time. I've been taken with jitters like a cat on a midday roof. <laughs> what are you waiting for with such anticipation? I took your advice, you see? I've summoned one of these crows! He has been examining me for nearly an hour. I just barely escaped a perch. But I was given the mandatory bleeding. I so hate their little knives. And so then, our venerable doctor, what is the verdict? It's... The blood is black. <sighs> Constantine, is this your blood? Constantine, answer me. Constantine, stay with me, Constantine. There is a chance that he is in error. It might be something else. I'm going to die. No, no, Constantine. I will die, like your mother and the others on the continent. I, I am dying. I don't want to die. I don't, not, not, not so soon. It's so good. Cousin, I... I don't want... Constantine, I'm here. Pull yourself together. Out. Everyone out. It's in order. Thank you, cousin. There now. Are you better? I don't know. You won't leave me, will you? I'm going to find a cure, I promise you. Didn't you promise the same thing to your mother? You know I'll be dead before you find one. Don't say that. I will succeed. I've already some promising trails to explore. I don't know, cousin. The tidings are so awfully dire. I'm afraid. I'm so afraid. I doubt the reason for your visit was to console me in my tragedy. Tell me, what brings you here? It can wait. It's nothing that can't be dealt with later. But please, please, whatever it is, it will take my mind elsewhere. I was able to get the whole story out of the Admiral in exchange for a service. As our investigation was leading us to imagine, the Congregation did once attempt to colonize the island. The Noughts discovered it some two centuries ago and brought our people here a few decades later. But the enterprise to colonize the island failed completely. There were a great many bloody battles. Few colonists survived. The princes preferred to hide their defeat and paid the noughts to keep the secret. That they hid the fiasco from the world, I get. But that my father said nothing about it to me. That's not the most shocking part of the story, believe me. What do you mean? The congregation continued to make expeditions to the island with the help of the noughts. According to the Admiral, my mother came from the island and was brought back. I was born on one of their ships. What? But... That means you are not your dear cousin? No. All the lies we've been fed since our tender childhood. The fable told that I'm the spitting image of my dead father lost during an expedition. God, I, I don't know what to think, Constantine. Why did they do that to me? I don't know. It's another one of their sly and dark orchestrations. Some vile intrigue. If it is of some comfort, no matter the true story, you will always be my dear cousin. You have always been the only one to care for me. You are my only friend. That's all that matters to me. Keep this discovery between us. No one needs to know. My aunt adopted you after all. Bring in the others. Let us speak of different concerns. That's enough bad news for one day. Kurt, what is... Dismissed, soldiers. Leave us. We have much to say. What is going on? I don't appreciate this attitude, Kurt. Must I remind you that these men all answer to me? Times change, your highness. Or rather, they're about to do so. Is that a threat? What are you hoping to accomplish? Don't tell- Silence. We have little time and none to lose. Kurt, what are you talking about? 
The commander of the Coin Guard is here in New Serene at this very moment. He's preparing a coup d'etat. In the three cities of the island, our men are going to eliminate the governors and their entourage. This is madness. How? How? You'll go down as easy as plum pie and cherry wine. Standing behind every one of you is one of our men. You have entrusted us with your security. You are completely at our mercy. Then why did you send your men away? And why are you telling us all of this? I've known you both for a very long time. Too long. I've come to know you. To respect you. And I've never reneged on a contract. These orders go against all that I am. A cold-hearted mercenary, definitely, but never a traitor. And so now you are forewarned. You must take action. Thank you, Kurt. I will not forget this. Constantine, we need to get you to safety as well as your counselors. But I want to... What? Take part? You can barely stand up. No, we must take you into the cellar. If I've completely understood what you've said, Kurt, the governors of our cities are also in danger. Yes. If you want to keep your allies, Your Highness, you also need to warn them. Correct. We cannot let them fall into the hands of these traitors. I will find the means to send them a messenger. Do you know where to find your conspirators? It would seem I should be one of them. They are counting on me to eliminate both of you. The most urgent matter is to get our hands on the commander and his three lieutenants. The others are doing nothing but following orders. If we cut off the heads, they will fall into rank. <sighs> I always knew you were a good man. Don't make me change my mind. We'd better be off. Now. We'll certainly have to fight some traitors at Torsten's behest on our way to the cellar. Stay on your guard. Stay behind us, Constantine. You're in no condition to fight. We must also think about the advisors including your professor. And then we have to rescue Lady Morange. We must hurry before the guard can act. Lord de Cousillon! The coin guard tried to assassinate my cousin and is plotting the same actions against the other governors. So, they have finally done it. Such proximity to power is a terrible temptation. It was only a question of time before they succumbed. We should have paid more attention to your lessons. We might have been able to avoid all of this. Follow me. I'm taking you somewhere safe. I'm coming. Lord Minister! The Coin Guard wants to take control of the island by assassinating all its governors. The Guard is everywhere. They could succeed. We will do everything in our power to thwart them. Come now. We'll take you somewhere safe. I'll follow you. We've reached the cellar. It looks like a good place to hide. Constantine, promise me that you will stay here until we secure the city. Do I even have a choice? Here I am, consigned to my quarters like some broken old maid. Like someone ill, Constantine. Someone sick who is dear to me, and the city wouldn't survive your loss. You have such a way with words. Very well. I promise to stay here, obediently awaiting your return. Let's go, then. And cousin? Watch out for yourself. You were dear to me as well. Lady Morange, make ready to depart. We cannot remain here. But what is going on? The Coin Guard has decided to take control of the Isle. They plan to overthrow the governors. They were set on assassinating Constantine and his entire entourage. The idiots! You are in danger. Do you know a safe place where we could take you? Don't worry about me. I have friends here. They will hide me. Go! And do be careful. Messenger. Be ready to leave at once. You must warn the governor of Hikmet that a conspiracy is underway targeting him. Uh, it, it's just that I, I can't leave the city just yet. What are you talking about? The order comes from the governor. What more do you need? Uh, it, it's, it's just that I, I was told if I left the city today, it, it would cost me my life. Who said that? The commander's men, I suppose. Uh, I don't really know. But they were heavily armed, and they pay very well. And so you are prepared to betray your prince and country for a few coins? Don't you understand that the reason I am standing before you is because the guard failed to take this city? Do you know the punishment reserved for traitors? I, uh... Very well, Excellency. I'll leave immediately.
Make preparations to leave. I have a message to communicate immediately to the governor of San Mateus. You must tell the Mother Cardinal that the Coin Guard is preparing a coup d'etat. Her life and those of her entourage are in grave danger. Very well, Your Excellency. I'll leave immediately. The commander must be in his upstairs quarters preparing the attack. We should try to reach him discreetly. We could try to go through the tavern's kitchen. That's one way to do it. Or we could use the scaffolding to access the upper floor directly. But it's visible from the dormitories. And I know that the young recruits were ordered to stay there. They will not suspect us if we're wearing guard uniforms. Do you know where the three lieutenants you told us about are located? Ludger is an instructor. He'll be in the right wing of the barracks. As for the other two, they'll be at the tavern. Olga and Werner are in charge of the guards... Uh, secondary activities. In the basement. I see. Our priority should still be to stop Torsten. We'll worry about the others later. I'm sorry, Your Excellency. I know you've paid your entry fee, but this is a special night. My orders are not to let anyone in. What if I paid you a supplement for your good services? Very well, you can come in. I hope I won't be in trouble. I regret, my lord, we are closed this evening. Come back another day. I'm not here to tempt my luck. Are you in charge? That's right. What do you want from me? From you? Pfft, nothing. We are here to arrest the commander's lieutenants. Is that right? Now, this ought to be good. And for what crime would that be? You know very well. For high treason. Oh, and you think that my men are just gonna let you without so much as blinking an eye? Why would your men risk their lives and their families' well-being to serve your greedy ambitions? Gentlemen, you have been manipulated. I imagine you were promised riches and high station on the island, told that with such a prize you would be free of the services of the merchants, the mages and the scholars. But do you imagine for an instant that the noughts would risk losing their precious clients for you? That the continental nations that you've betrayed would accept that you might return to their lands? You would be condemned to remain on this island, isolated and forever banished from the continent. I only hope that you are leaving no one behind you, because you will never see them again. You make sense. We have too much to lose in this story. I'm sorry, Lieutenant, but you're gonna have to deal with this yourself. Do with him what you feel you must. Soldiers, ready weapons, we are under attack! We have been sent by the Governor Constantin Dorsey. Your Lieutenant is accused of high treason for having participated in an attempted coup d'etat. As you can see for yourselves, the attempt failed. Are you also ready to be accused of treason because of your loyalty to your lieutenant? I doubt it. I'm sure they're gonna make the wise decision. Isn't that right, Dieter? You give your word that we'll suffer no repercussions if we lay down arms. You have my word. Very well. We are dropping our weapons, soldiers. That dog's hide doesn't deserve our sacrifice. What are you doing here? Who let you in? I demand an explanation. It seems that your men are a little distracted this evening, Lieutenant. It is understandable, with all that's been going on. You are under arrest, as well as your commander. But... what is this? I recognize you. You're the governor's emissary. And Kurt, you had your orders. Sorry, but forced to betray someone, I decided it would be the less likable of the lot. Traitor. Soldiers, ready weapons! Shit. We've arrived too late. Do you know where Torsten could have gone? No. But we'll certainly find some information about it in these papers. Torsten suspected that I would denounce him, and he was prepared to leave this place. We must catch up to him. He cannot get away with this. Let's go. Torsten is a snake, but he's clever. Apparently, he suspected I would refuse to follow his orders. He must have been told about our attack on the ghost camp and drew his own conclusions. He knew you better than you thought he did. 
The guard. We're moving out. Break camp. We are no longer welcome here. And so, these snake oil merchants defy us by sending their watchdog. Let's show them what guards are made of! Come here, you pathetic dog! The game is over for you, Commander.